Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, a great week, folks. To master love, you have to practice love. The art of relationship is whole mastery, and the only way to reach mastery is with practice. To master a relationship is therefore about taking action, not about attaining knowledge. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 642, Nasdaq's up 252, SP's up 87, gold contract down $9.40, trading at 1934 an ounce. You got silver down 9 cents, $25.44 an ounce. Light sweet crude up eight bucks, one eleven an ounce, uh, an ounce a barrel. <coughs> Notes and bonds. You get the ten year note trading down one full point plus thirteen ticks at one twenty seven ten. The thirty year off a full two points plus nineteen ticks at one fifty six eighteen. And king dollar, king dollar is uh, down sixty six ticks trading ninety seven three forty four. Euro is out here at one eleven. The yen is at one fifteen point one five, and the British pound is at one thirty three to one U S dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you take a look at these indices, folks, is that you have a, a typical window dressing deal in a down market. We get the SPY up by 850. You're taking out the swing points for the last few days, and you're not even going to come close to the volume. We did $145 million out here on Monday. Bottom line, you're at 85 million, and I suspect we're going to close over this high. This market wants higher price right now, but this is a market that is setting up lower price and building cause for lower price. That high volume low of 410 inside the S&P, the SPY, will get tested, and we'll see whether it's going to be a very large ABC structure on the way down. We take a look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. We have with the three Qs out here. Three Qs are up today, $6.56. You take a look at Mondays, we're at $77 million, And I suspect what we're going to do out here is probably about, uh, we'll probably do about $70 million, another $13 million from where we are right now. That being said, guess what? You have the contraction of volume. You're going into the swing point. Bottom line, I suspect it's going to give it up in spades once again um, as soon as we have this window dressing over. Gold. We take a look at the gold contract out here. Gold is building cars for higher price. Uh, you get uh, 2.1 million contracts out here today. I mean, 214,000 contracts out here. I, that's good contract volume, man. That's the bottom line. If you can keep this uh, 200,000 contracts up, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a good scene. You know, you already broke topside on this, baby. You know, you get the spike high out here at the 1976. I suspect what we're going to see is that good old gold's going to run for these highs. Notes and bonds. We take a look at the 10-year note. What you're going to see with the 10-year note, you you're down on 2 million contracts. That being said, as I said at the update, bottom line, you went up with 3 million contracts. So that is saying, you know, guess what? This counter trend bounce is not over yet. Yeah, you gave up everything you got yesterday. Yesterday, we go up with 3.1 million. Today, you go down with 2 million. 30-year bond, same type of setup. USH, I think we're on. No, USJ, right? US. Let's see. The, come on, baby. USM, okay, USM. We're in the June bond, the 30-year bond. So you get the 30-year down two full points plus 18 ticks. You've done 397,000 contracts. And yesterday we go topside with uh, 600, 637. You can see what's going on. You went up, you're pulling back with lighter volume. Uh, bottom line, it wants higher price right now, and, and I expect that higher price, however, is a move, a counter-trend move. The dollar uh, got up to its high from last week and gave it up in price. This is going to be interesting on the dollar to see how this baby shakes out. It got to 97.829, and right now you're at 97.335. If it gets back inside 96. 9.38, and then it's saying, hey, man, it's not even going to be able to make a high. I mean, when I was looking at this dollar, it really looked to me like this thing actually could try to get up to the, these spike highs that we had up here at the 102 level. So if this is all the dollar wrote, <laughs> this is going to get really interesting. 
We had the Federal Reserve uh, Chairman Powell out here today uh, with the with his testimony in front of the House of Representatives. And the bottom line is that he was it's quite clear that, uh, you know, you're going to get a 25 percent, 25 basis point hike, which is a quarter, which is a quarter of a point. And, you know, the, the bottom line is that you can expect them one after the other after the other, folks. That, that's how this, I suspect, is going to uh, shake out. Um, he did, when he was getting pressed, he did say we're getting pressed. To, if the uh, inflation keeps accelerating, would he go up to half? And he said, yeah, they, they would go up to the half. I think one of the biggest uh, interest points for myself hearing that, not that part of it, about the aspect of inflation in the 70s versus inflation now was the way that he actually answered that he was explaining that the Fed wasn't paying attention at all and other and policymakers weren't paying attention at all to inflation in the 70s. And no one really uh, basically, you know, it wasn't in their camp to take care of. Let's put it that way. And he was making very clear that it was in the Fed's camp that they were going to do something about it. So uh, I suspect that's going to be done and uh, we'll see where uh, this whole thing goes. But I, the tightening is going to happen out here, folks. That's the bottom line. Let's go take a look at the oil market. So the oil market is on a just a one to one ABC structure up. We were talking about this yesterday is 117 They're taking it, taking the B point out, taking it out with volume. But when you take a look at this and I was talking with a one of my associates in the office here yesterday and we were looking at the oil contract and then when you, when you take a look at this cl1 we take a look at the generic contract okay what you are going to see so so when you do this you, you take a look at the abc structure right but then you got to go you put this on a generic chart and you want to go look and say okay where are the swing points right well the bottom line inside the oil market right now is that your swing points are basically are you know, we already hit 112, okay? 112 to 114 is the swing. Well, the A to B equals C to D is 117 on a 1 to 1. What that means, that the whole high is game, folks, at 147. That's how this is set up. Because if we launch the 114, guess what? There's nothing in the way for that 147. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. Come right back.